Hey friends, Clayton Phillips here from Woody's RV World in Leduc, Alberta, Canada. It's like minus 25 outside right now in Leduc. I am freezing cold, but I gotta tell you, I am super fired up here because we've got the very first 3110 BH Imagine. This is a brand new floor plan to our dealership. And I'm telling you, I wanted to get this information out onto YouTube and show off to the world because this floor plan is absolutely killer. As you can tell, I am fired up to show it to you. I kind of call this floor plan, it's a bit of a hybrid, not the tent end hybrid that you're uh, familiar with. It's kind of like a hybrid between a bunk model and a couple's unit. Um, it's an extension of the 2970 RL floor plan. There's a lot of similarities to that, but it's a little bit longer and you can sleep a small army in this trailer. You've got unbelievable outside storage, unbelievable capacities, and I am just absolutely so jacked up that I'm gonna brave this minus 25 weather. My hand's gonna be shivering here as I'm doing this, but we wanna welcome you down to our dealership to have a look at this brand new floor plan. So this 3110 BH Imagine by Grand Design RV measures out at 36 feet, two inches in length. So it's not a short travel trailer, but you've got a ton of livability in it. And true to form for Grand Design, in the Imagine folks, you still get all the same stuff. You get that golden thread of consistency on this as you do with all the Ima other Imagines, as well as uh, the other brands with Grand Design. So again, starting right up here, up front here folks, fully painted structure cap on Grand Design trailers. In behind that structure cap, they do run a steel cage from sidewall to sidewall to really strengthen in the front end to create a lot of rigidity and strength. Grand Design builds a squarely built trailer, uh, part and parcel to the lamination that they use, just their build techniques, all of those things that Grand Design does on their trailers. So fully painted cap, it's not a gel coat cap, so great re greatly reduces the chances of that fading and discoloration coming down. And uh, it's gonna look really, really good for a long time. When I say a structure cap, this structure cap has a lot of grooves and edges in it, creating rigidity, because you want, you want that, you want that, um, that front cap when they mount it, you want it to go on square, okay? Uh, Grand Design puts structure caps on the fronts of all of their RVs, so. And again, right up front, you do have that lower uh, rocker panel there, uh, two 20-pound propane tanks, power jack, with Grand Design folks, they were the first manufacturer to come out with the what I would call fifth wheel-like pass-through storage. <clears throat> Excuse me. So with most RVs in the industry, folks, or travel trailers, this right here where your J-wrap meets the lower part of your sidewall, this belt molding, this represents where your main floor is. And with most RVs, this main floor continues all the way across to the front of the RV. So you get close to less than half the amount of storage in competitive product than what you would have with this Imagine. This is 47 cubic feet of pass-through storage. It's absolutely uh, fantastic. It's absolutely huge. Um, you know, camping gear nowadays is so much bigger with the bigger chairs, patio mats, you know, the barbecues, all the fun toys that you want to bring with you. Um, so huge, huge outdoor storage. And again, all aluminum frame construction, fully bead welded together. They're really doing it right with Grand Design on the Imagine. The other thing that's new, folks, uh, for the 2021 is the tire link. It's pre-prepped for the tire link, uh, which is a tire pressure monitoring system that you can get. The, the module basically clicks in there. You can download an app to your cell phone. Uh, so you can, you know, and then you get the little uh, valve extend, little uh, sensors that go on the end of your valve extenders to be able to um, um, read how much air pressure is in your in your tires so uh, you know going down the highway you can really monitor your tire if you have a blowout or if you have a leak or something it'll it'll alert you and those sorts of things so um, again true to form for Grand Design folks I know we spend a lot of time on their pass-through storage compartments but this is a thing that this this area really can help separate uh, Grand Design from a lot of the competitors out there enclosed utility center you run your fresh water line up through the floor here one thing to note I apologize it is dirty this trailer showed up today uh, in the snow, made its 2,000 mile journey here. We have not cleaned it, we have not put it through our shop. You are seeing it, and this is where Grand Design shines, you are seeing it in the condition that it just made the la you know a 2,000 mile journey. So with lots of RVs over the years, folks, I found that we're the last 80 feet of the assembly line with Grand Design. We don't have to worry about that. 
But again, uh, fully enclosed utility center. You run your fresh water line up through this little porthole access right here. That flap lifts up. You can hook to your city water connection. There's a really cool feature if you're, you know, camped and you know you're you're camping and you're hooked up to city water, but then you're going to your next destination where, let's say, you're dry camping and you're not able to hook up to water. You don't have to unhook your fresh water line and plug it into the gravity fill, although you do have one. Uh, you can just flip this blue lever here, and it'll automatically fill up your fresh water tank, saving you time and effort and that sort of thing so really cool feature battery disconnect switch 110 plugs coax cable connections look at grand design folks they're even giving you a how to you know do your water heater bypass doing your winterizing all of those sorts of things grand design making it easy coming alongside you and that's just part of their customer service which we absolutely love motion sensor lighting on both sides of this uh, pass-through storage compartment as well so awesome 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 setup on this uh, on the grand design Imagine, I'm just going to shoot up underneath the trailer, show you the underbelly. So with Grand Design on the Imagines, folks, it's all fully enclosed, heated underbelly. That coroplast or that enclosure that they use to enclose the underbelly of the trailer has an insulation that's bonded to the back of it, which really makes it a whole lot easier. It's not just loosely hanging in the underbelly. So if you have to get some service work done on your holding tanks, um, you know, you're not pulling down the enclosure and then having to deal with all this insulation. It's bonded to that paneling, so it makes, you know, uh, getting things fixed and that sort of thing so much easier. But you'll see where it's, you know, all of, anytime you have plumbing coming out the underbelly, um, you know, they spray foam around those openings. It's super clean, finished off. There's your gate valve for your fresh water tank drain. Um, R30, right from this enclosure all the way through your floor. And your 35,000 BTU furnace has a ducted heat that forces that heat down. It's not a radiant heat. So if you see a lot of products in the industry, folks, that have heat registers in the floor and they say they have heated tanks, it's radiant heat typically off of that heat plenum or heat loss that would heat your tanks, which up here in Canada really does nothing. Uh, for us, that forced air heat, that actual dedicated heat duct blowing down into that holding tank cavity is so much more important, okay? Um, again, you got your um, drain for your sewer right here. One location in front of the tires, not behind. Just real nice. 50 amp service on this trailer as well. And I'm just coming down this side of the trailer. Um, and then again, like I mentioned, 35,000 BTU furnace, which is awesome. Oh, I'm jumping ahead. I haven't shot a video in a while, so please forgive me. I want to um, get up on the weights. This is not a lightweight trailer. So the right half ton will do it. My key keyword, right half ton, know your specs. Um, GVWR on this trailer, 10,195 pounds. That's the maximum the trailer can weigh legally. Your dry weight UVW, as this trailer came off the assembly line, if you're looking on the brochure or in the internet, it'll be a little less than this, but this one's 8,012 pounds, giving you an awesome cargo carrying capacity of 2,143 pounds, which is awesome. You know, there's lots of fifth wheels that don't even have that kind of cargo carrying capacity. So, and then you've got a 780 pound hitch weight on this trailer as well. So, one of the cool benefits to this trailer, and we're seeing it on a lot of Grand Design floor plans, folks, they're getting creative. And again, you see the two windows. So this is where that convertible part in the rear lounge converts into a bunk room. I'll show you inside when we get in. But underneath this lower seating area sleeping arrangement, you've got a great big monster trunk storage at the back and there's a light there that you can turn on so epic storage on this trailer and again look at all the aluminum framing fully bead welded together absolutely fantastic grand design doing it right now i'm not going to shoot climb up on the video or on the roof of this trailer folks like i do in a lot of the other videos because i am freezing cold right now but again ladders on the backs of all of their trailers every single trailer grand design builds has a ladder why one, they build walk-on roofs on all of their trailers, okay? A lot of trailers in the industry, folks, if you don't see it with a ladder, a lot of times that indicates that it does not have a walk-on roof. You're actually feeling, if you gotta do up, go up there and do some service work, you gotta feel for the studs like walking around inside an attic. Whenever we do service work on a trailer like that, we're having to lay down sheets of plywood just to simply change a roof vent or to do some roof sealant touch-ups. The thing with camping, especially up here in Canada, is depending on where you're at, you can have little pine needles, little branches, leaves, all of those things landing on the tops of your slide outs. Well, you want to be able to get up on the roof to sweep off the top of your slide 
before you bring your slide out in or else that's all going to pile into your slide seals and that's not a good thing. So grand design, full walk on roof and if I was able, if I went up on that roof, I could walk across the tops of their slide outs. Because that roof panel of the slide out is fully laminated just like the sidewall, block foam insulation, aluminum framed, fully bead welded, laminated in their lamination facility, that slide box is built square, everything goes together perfectly, okay? Now the other thing, Grand Design, part of their three-year structural warranty, they were the first manufacturer to, to come out with that three-year structural warranty, and I tell customers, Grand Design built their product to support their warranty, okay? Some of the other manufacturers have come out with a, a three-year structural warranty, um, but they didn't change how they built their product. Grand Design did, okay? On that roof, for example, um, like I mentioned, uh, didn't mention before, but full walk-on roof, you have attic vents in the roof as well to allow it to breathe, okay? Um, super good R values as well. You've got an R40 in your roof down your front cap. In this one, you've got an R7 in your sidewall, and like I mentioned before, R30 through your floor. So super well insulated. They're putting fantastic componentry in terms of big, big BTUs on your furnace. Your hot water heater um, is gas electric and gives you that 17.8 gallon quick recovery per hour. So um, again, this trailer is packed full of features. One thing that's really cool, um, dual awnings on this particular product. So your awning on your slide out is 10 feet. 10 or 11, so you've got a 10 foot awning and an 11 foot awning paired together giving you that 21 foot of awning coverage which is awesome and you're not having to compete like with some trailers with the slide outs on the entry side. Sometimes those awnings go above the slide out and then that slide out cuts into your awning space. With this one you don't have to worry about it. Uh, you get full awning coverage on this trailer which is good too. Um, the running gear on this particular prop. Sorry, I pushed the button there. Um, these videos are totally unedited, so forgive me if I dance around or I accidentally push the button. 15-inch um, radial tire on this. It's a Westlake Lion's Head tire. Comes with a five-year warranty. You get the Dexter towing system, which is the Dexter axle, the Dexter never, uh, never adjust brakes, and the Easy Lube hubs. You can literally do a full wheel bearing repack right in your driveway and save yourself hundreds and hundreds of dollars. All North American made very very good quality you got the bigger tires you got the alloy wheels um, they're just putting on a far superior product with that also bronze bushings as well as you have grease uh, grease bushings as well so on the back side of where that bolt is on that shackle hanger right there there's a little grease nipple there that you can inject grease into which is really really nice um, just helps maintain the you know the the, the towability of your trailer which is good so um, yeah, I'm just going to stand back here. Outdoor speakers, Coleman mock air conditioner, shoot in on that pass-through storage compartment again. My hand's freezing here. Look at the baggage door. Super thick baggage door, metal latch. It's not a cheap little plastic thing or a door that'll bend and bulge and all those sorts of things. So they're going the extra step. I'm just gonna go right on inside here. You do have the um, rise above step, super solid, fully adjustable on this 310 BH. Just give me a second, I'm gonna turn on my battery pack so the lights are on, just a sec. I use these really cool Whizbang battery packs by NOCO. That thing gives a ton of power. We're gonna light up the whole trailer here. So right on the front cap, you've got the LED lighting, gives you a real nice, cool look to it, <clears throat> to the campsite, and then you have the LED strip light on your awning right there little blue lights in your speakers and we're gonna jump in so we're walking right into the, uh, the trailer what's cool about this floor plan folks before I jump to the back you walk right into where your bathroom is so if you have guests family over um, if the slide outs fully retracted and you're just going from point A to point B you know you can totally walk into your trailer and hit your bathroom it's really easy you're not tracking you know through your trailer to get to your bathroom so real slick setup there one of the things to talk about right before we get into the floor plan this has the compass connect system um, so you can download an app um, to your phone which will allow you to operate the awnings the slide out check your tank uh, tank levels all of those things um, and similar to the uh, tire link system 
um, download that app to your phone as well. So really cool, all Bluetooth capable, right to your cell phone, you can operate it. The other thing that Grand Design did was they still gave you switches. They didn't connect everything to the Compass Connect by itself. So with some of the trailers we found that they've gone completely digital in terms of the touch screen, that touch screen when it's colder out doesn't necessarily work all that well. With Grand Design, you don't have to worry about that. So they're thinking from that side of it. So again, the couples trailer slash bunk model hybrid. And I'm gonna go right to the back because I am totally fired up about this. Okay, so like a 2970 RL, if you've seen the seen that floor plan from the couch forward is all the same. Okay, you get the island, you get the hutch. I can option in the seating arrangements. So in this one, I did the freestanding dinette. You can get a booth, which will make into a bed. Here you can get the theater seating or the trifold. I opted to go for the trifold, and I'll explain why. With the trifold sofa and the sofa at the back and this upper bed, you've got three large double beds in the rear of this trailer. What's cool about this is that when you have like in the 2970 RL, RL, like most rear living room trailers, when you have a couch at the back, if it folds out into a bed, which is typically a trifold, what happens is it folds out in front of the seating position here. With this trailer, you can have this bed fully folded out. This bed here, we'll just show you in behind, you got a window, little mattress pad. So it's in the sofa position right now, as you can see. <clears throat> All you do is you just grab onto this right here, and this clicks down and drops down into the bed position. Okay, sorry, hit that button again. Um, anyway, so you've got, again, a monster double bed here at the back. And when that thing's folded down, it doesn't take up any more floor space, which is real slick. Okay. And the other cool part is you've got this big double bed up on top and it just pulls down. And we've got that thing set right up. Check that out. So monster double bed there with a window. Monster double bed there with a window. You got a double bed here, and then if you wanted, you could even option in the booth dinette and have another bed there. So you've got a ton, a ton of sleeping in this particular trailer. And then the storage is fantastic in here as well. Like at the back here, you've got six drawers. You've got three underneath the sofa here. You've got three in the wardrobe area here. A couple of stairs for the grandkids to get up. There's a little ladder here built in to the framework of the... Um, just the, the, the structure of to hold this upper bed up. And this upper bed here is fully laminated, just like the sidewall, so it's super strong as well. Okay, all aluminum framed in there, block foam, fully bead welded, real strong. And then you've got your convertible, you know, you got the shelving if you want it to be a pantry or just extra shell, you know, storage for whatever, or you can take this, this shelf right out, it just lifts right out, and you got a spot to hang jackets. So, real flexible system. I absolutely love this. And then there's a curtain here that you can see that curtain, and that's just on a track, and it goes right across. So, if you've got a couple of grandkids staying with you, um, or kids, and you just want to have that couple's unit, you know, they go to bed, slide that curtain closed. Totally private. Super cool. And then, yeah, this upper bed here just flips up out of the way. I also, you've got USB connections right there. In behind here, there's a little strap. That you can grab onto. See if I can do it with my glove. Pull it up and it just clicks and you got into sofa position. Look at that. Real cool. All right. And again, windows all in the entry side of the trailer. Awesome seating arrangement. You've got your island, you know, your entertainment factor here. You're sitting right across from your, you know, your television, your DVD players, completely Bluetooth. That Roku TV, we'll talk about the entertainment here for a second. So the TV antenna that's on this trailer is the uh, 360 plus uh, WineGuard TV antenna. It's a completely digital, uh, omnidirectional tele um, TV antenna. It comes pre-prepped for the gateway device. And the gateway device is an add-on feature you can get, which basically turns your... Uh, TV antenna into a Wi-Fi booster essentially to allow you to be able to suck in um, Wi-Fi from let's say if you're visiting some relatives on some on their property if you're at a campground and you're able to connect to their Wi-Fi to suck it in 
Um, it just allows you to bring in that Wi-Fi from a much farther distance. The other thing it has is it has a little slot on it where you can hook up a SIM card, okay? So that's connected to your cell phone plan. <clears throat> so it really doesn't matter where you're located. Of course, you know, somewhat relative to where you're located to get the service to come in. But if you've got a great cell phone plan, you can literally connect uh, to your Wi-Fi and your TV is Roku. So you can stream through your cell phone plan. You can connect to somebody's Wi-Fi and you got the Roku TV on here, which Roku is pretty sweet. We've got a Roku TV at home and you can download all the apps. You, you can do YouTube, you can do Netflix, you can do Prime Video, any apps that you really like to watch, you know, Sportsnet to get the hockey, all those sorts of things. And you can watch that streaming right onto that television. So the technology in these trailers is just far, far better than they used to be. Um, also, um, below where your uh, DVD player would be, right behind that black panel, is your fireplace. That fireplace has got a 5,000 BTU heater in it, which is really nice. So if, let's say it's a little cool out, but you don't want to run your noisy furnace, but you want to be able to, you know, watch a movie and just warm up this area, that 5,000 BTU heater will, you can turn that on. You've got to be plugged into shore power generator for it to work, but it will blow that, blow that heat into the trailer as well. So you've got 40,000 BTUs of heating capability with your fireplace and your 35,000 BTU furnace combined. So real, real slick system. Great big kitchen island. In this living area alone, you got 15 drawers. You know, in terms of cabinetry, drawers are the most expensive thing to build typically um, for an RV manufacturer. You know, ball bearing drawer glides, they got the nice handle, all plywood construction. Grand Design does the drawers right. They don't cheap out but 15 drawers like there's no shortage of storage in this trailer and then you got the the holy grail of pantries here grand design right from day one when they started their company they just have always put in amazing storage great big pantry there's a motion sensor light in there to help light it up at night for those midnight snackers this is a cool touch too added storage you got a spot where you can put your cookie sheets and you know, those sorts of things. But then they do the, the pots and pans drawer here as well, which is kind of slick. And then you've got these little wood dowels that allow you to, you know, position your pots and pans in here from sliding around. And you can just really do a nice job and pack in your trailer for transport, which is nice. And then uh, they just did it this last year. Uh, went to an eight cubic foot refrigerator. So you do get the bigger fridge, uh, which is nice in terms of they used to put a six cubic foot in and then the hutch you know you could do your Keurig coffee maker here your toaster you got plugins one there one there you know I, I encourage anybody when they're shopping count the amount of plugs that they put inside a trailer count the amount of lights the light switches Grand Design's putting in a ton of that stuff that's where a lot of manufacturers will cheap out they'll also cheap out where you know a cabinet like this Grand Design they put a shelf inside Okay, a lot of products, what they do is they just raise this up and they you open up the cupboard door and it's just one big open space. So you get so much wasted area. With Grand Design, they lower it down, add a shelf, give you double the amount of storage, which is smart. Hidden hinges, it's not just a cheap little hinge, fully adjustable hinge. So, beautiful kitchen space to be able to do what you need to do just shoot around here. So yeah, we're in a 3110BH, all new to Grand Design. Couple things, fully laminated floor with Grand Design folks, DNA item, um, they don't do heat registers in the floor, okay? When you see heat registers in the floor, that means they cut a groove in the floor for that heat to travel down. You can develop soft spots over time. Um, that's what typically that radiant heat, like I mentioned earlier, is what heats your holding tanks below, below, which really doesn't do anything. They just get to say that they heat their tanks barely. And, uh, you know, with a Grand Design trailer, it's part of their DNA. They, they try to avoid putting heat registers in the floor so they don't turn into dirt and debris traps. Uh, the other thing, if you're looking at other products in the industry, when you see heat ducts in the floor, especially with a rear sofa model, they usually put a heat duct on the floor right in front of your sofa. Well, if you've got a conventional trifold sofa that flips out, um, or even here, if this trifold flipped out and you had a heat duct in the floor, 
and that furnace is running, that's billowing that heat right up underneath that couch when it's folded out, and you're literally going to bake your guests. It's not, not a very fun sleep when you're sitting there sweating and you're overheating and those sorts of things. So, beautiful, beautiful trailer. It's got the new Pebble interior. Um, they came out with that in 2020. Uh, this is an Italian poplar. There's no MDF in here. It's a veneer door, but it's got that Italian poplar, which is a super, super lightweight uh, wood that Grand Design uses. You know, Grand Design puts a lot of emphasis in the structure, the build quality. You know, to build a well-made trailer, it doesn't necessarily make it ultra lightweight. That's why you have a walk-on roof. That's why you have walk-on slide boxes. That's why you see a lot of competitors in the industry, you know, not putting ladders on the backs, not allowing you to walk on slides. That's why Grand Design doesn't do cable slides because you got to, you know, those cables, they stretch out, you know, and there's issues with those sorts of things that can creep up. Grand Design has to get creative uh, to try to save weight in some areas, but they're very cognizant of not putting you know, poor quality in. And one of the things that they do is they do go to this Italian poplar cabinet door. Very, very solid, very, very lightweight. A um, little bit more money, but hey, that's what you get with a Grand Design is better value, better, you know. I'll tell you the resale value on a Grand Design trailer, we cannot keep a pre-owned one in stock. They very, barely, very rarely hit our website. You know, the resale value on a Grand Design is far better than most other products out in the industry today. So I know I'm dancing around here on the inside. I'm talking a lot, but uh, again, bathroom, awesome bathroom. You got the double, double storage vanity. It's not just a mirror screwed to the wall, you know, lots of storage, lots of, lots of prep space for your, uh, for your bathroom, you know, three drawers there, you got the towel rack. You can roll your towels up, stack them inside there. Nautilus shower curtain beautiful shower with the skylight above storage above the toilet here you got the towel uh, rod there to hang your towel up and then porcelain foot flush toilet and again no heat ducts on the floor so if that toilet was to ever backflow on you um, heaven forbid uh, it's not going down into your ducts <clears throat> and then you've got your your front bedroom some really cool additions to the bedroom you may have heard me talk about it on some of the other videos one, the original cabinets in the, in the bedroom on the Imagine, these upper cabinets, like in a lot of trailers, they extend all the way out to the sidewall, okay? And they used to do that in the Imagine. And then this closet here <coughs> would start at the base of this cabinet, with here and go down. Well, you've always had a drawer on either side of the bed with the Imagine. But by skinnying it up on this side, they were able to raise the, sh the cabinet up, okay? So get the hanger rod in there, but they added a drawer. So you get two drawers on either side of your bed just by being smart like that. And then just this year, Eric Landis, I love your brother, the product manager at Grand Design, fantastic dude, takes great feedback. I'm not going to say where he got the feedback from, but he can tell you. These little storage cubbies on either side of the bed because with that rounded front end and square drawers, what happened was there was a little little void uh, on the backs of these drawers, which allowed them to be able to put these wonderful little storage cubbies on either side of the bed. Real smart. USB connection, 110 plug. If you got a CPAP machine, um, you know, you want to plug in your cell phone, use it as an alarm clock, you know, just a spot to put a glass of water, a book, your glasses, those sorts of things. They're giving you that storage cubby, which is real slick. And then you've got the night light blue there for at night if you like a little light and then you got the reading light there which actually brightens up real nice you can totally adjust this light too so and then what's new you got underneath your bed and that bed is a 60 by 80 residential size bed by the way so if you don't like the mattress any mattress shop it'll fit the same dimensions your padded mattress pads that you can get from let's say Costco or Bed Bath Beyond or wherever you want to get one from will fit the same dimensions and then your fitted sheets that you buy go around it the short short mattresses in the industry still I don't know why manufacturers do it save cost I guess um, don't really go around all that well um, underneath the bed here they've got the sliding storage tray so just a real smart idea adding some extra storage trying to be a little different but you know just look how clean the storage compartment is double gas strut we're seeing a lot of manufacturers they just don't put the gas struts underneath the bed so it makes it a little harder to access the gear underneath the underneath the bed 
And then, keep saying and then, um, <laughs> you got a real nice wardrobe here as well. So, and then two great big drawers. So, <clears throat> that's all I got. I hope you liked the video. I'm still freezing cold here and I apologize. But hey, I wanted to get this new floor plan out to you. I hope you like it. We'd love to invite you down to our dealership in Leduc. We are the number one selling grand design dealer in Alberta two years in a row. We're a little dealership. We're on 3.3 acres. We're exclusive grand design for the most part. We've got some other brands in uh, motorized and a little towable brand that's new to us. But uh, for the bulk of what we carry here is grand design. And uh, we love their company. They build fantastic product. They've got great values, customer values, customer centric values, just like you hear at our dealership in Leduc. And uh, hey, don't take my word for it. You know, if you want to learn about our dealership, just type in Woody's RV World Leduc, L E D U C for Leduc, and uh, read up on those reviews. Those are organically created reviews by our customers who have cho to do, chosen to do business with us. And we thank you for those customers. We thank you, our faithful YouTube watchers who hang in on these super long videos I shoot. And uh, yeah, that's what I got. My name's Clayton Phillips. I'm the sales manager here at Woody's RV World in Leduc. And uh, hope to see you soon. Take care, be safe, and uh, bye for now.